Hey guys, my sister here, and welcome to my first Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod installation is on more features, 1.2.5. They need to upload it to 1.3.1, 1. 1. or 2, that is. But, um, these are the mods you're going to need. Custom Mob Spawner, Dr. Zark's Smoke Creatures Mod, Minecraft Forge, and Gueyapi. You can get all of these from the forum page which is right down here. Minecraft forums. Um, this, in, this will be in the description. Um, and these are the files. You can just click on them like this. I'll show you just to, so you know what to do. Because sometimes I've seen tutorials that you have to, um, well, they don't tell you to click skip ad or, oh, I'll just give that away. Anyway, you w you come up here to the corner, the top right, and it will say skip ad after five seconds. You click skip ad, and it will take you to Metafire, unless, I don't know. This is Windows, I don't know about Mac. But then you just download it, I already have the download and stuff, but you do the same with the, rec the other three files. So what we're gonna do first of all, is go on, um, percent app data percent and um you would go on roaming or you can just click enter then you can go on dot minecraft go on bin and then go to minecraft folder open it well i'll show you how to do that part i'm sorry some of us don't know what program i'm using but you need to use uh, winrar or 7-zip click open with and then winrar archiver then this should open. And what you first want to do is delete meta int. That will cause black sp black screens. And you don't want that. Now do we? Now let's go on. Open up QEA app and Minecraft Forge. These are the file. These are the programs you're also going to need for this mod to work. So let's go ahead and drag a Minecraft Forge in first. I d it doesn't really matter what order you go in. But um. Just let you know, do not drag in Dr. Zark from Creatures or a custom mob spawner. There's a different way for them. Those files. Okay, this takes a while. I'm sorry. When sometimes the hard drive files don't load as much, but oh well. Next, you op go on your Gooeyapi. And if you're wondering how I just drag all the files, you can click Control A. Like that, you know. Control A. And it'll get all the files. Um, I really can't remember what page in WinRAR it is, just, if you want, you can just search up WinRAR, and it should work there, you know, but, um, this is kind of a little mod tutorial on, also, on Too Many Items mod, but not necessarily, but, you know, it's technically the same, but Too Many Items is pretty simple, easy mod. Minecraft Forge goes with it, or you can use Mod Loader, but that messes things up sometimes. Now you can just exit out, and go back to your bin. Well, not your bin, just dot Minecraft. And if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create one. Go on new folder, and type in mods. Make sure they're all lowercase. Then you open it, and you drag in your custom mobs spawner and Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod into this folder, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would just install Mo Mo Creatures mod. And now you can just open up Minecraft. We're gonna go ahead and see if this worked. Um Okay. Go ahead and hold up. Let's go and log in. You type your name in. I sometimes just go play offline. I don't feel like typing in my, my username and password all the time. I do sometimes. Um, there's one way to know that this mod is installed, and um, you go on options. Well, not we kind of know it's loaded because of Minecraft Forge. So you go on options and global mod spawner, global mod spawner settings. Ah, one thing spawner. And um, what this is is you can do all types of things, like you can. You can um, make all these vanilla Minecraft stuff, and um, 
I think this is the spawnings, or this is how tough they are, or something. I don't think it's as tough because sheep aren't like that. So what's the rarest thing to find? Enderman? No. I don't know. Well, anyway, you can um spawn animals. Whoops! I clicked spawn, but I'm not even on the world. What did that just do? What did that just do? I'm gonna open Minecraft again. I'm gonna have to. Now it's messed up. It's about to crash because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> a bit funny. Anyway, um, it did work. I promise, because that that thing wouldn't have showed up. But um, it did work. I promise that. I'll be right back once this all loads up, and I go ahead and create a new world. Hey guys, I'm back. And, um, so I created my world. I'm creative, obviously. That's what I do. No? <laughs> I'm sorry. Having fun. But, um, let's go ahead and see if we found any mobs. <sighs> ah! I can't fly. I'm not flying. Oh, there we go. Okay, I heard, I heard a deer. There it is. Um, as you can see, the mod installed correctly because a polar bear is chasing the deer. Um, and you could hear that, that bleh kind of ha sound, you know. Anyways, um, it did install properly and successfully. I hope this this some um, video helped you guys out. Oh, there's a snake down there. Um, if you guys ever wanted this mod. This is how you do it, because sometimes that mob builder will be messed up. What the heck is wrong with that snake? Just die. Just die. Okay. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please rate this video, which I think is liking. <laughs> I don't know much about, well, I know a lot about YouTube, but not making the videos. What is this? Look at this glitch. Sand is floating. I'm gonna break this thing back. <laughs> there we go. Now it's not all glitched. Maybe a little. There. There's a lot of glitches in this. Why is 1.2.5 so glitch? Like, so bugs. This is a bug. <laughs> eh, still awesome. But, um. I really do hope this helped you guys out. But, um, yep. Pretty much it, guys. Bye.